While anyone can purchase marijuana in Washington at the age of 21, marijuana is still illegal to possess in Idaho. I can tell you that as long as you have a valid ID, out of state or not, Washington allows you to come in and smoke their cannabis. MJ's Pot Shop accounted for roughly $31,000 in Washington State's excise tax for the month of September. Certainly you can see the difference in, in uh, the cannabis industry and how it's helped the um, taxes here in town. MJ's Pot Shop is the oldest dispensary in Pullman. We started out with, I think, two cases full of maybe 10 to 15 products. It was very limited as far as what growers were available. And here we are three years later, tons of shops open, ridiculous amount of growers and processors available. Washington historically competed with Idaho regarding various laws such as Washington's minimum wage. I think it is a draw because it's not legal in Idaho. So, um, you know, to me it's sort of a tit for tat. It's uh, you keep the restaurants and we'll keep the cannabis and you come over and buy it and spend your money over here. Cannabis legalization in Washington has created a downward trend of small personal use seizures among its residents. However, this isn't always the case with nearby cities and towns. Uh, marijuana that is professionally packaged for sale, obviously from a dispensary, is showing up more and more. Seizures in Idaho increased from 2 pounds in 2015 to roughly 41 pounds in 2016. Jesse Maywald, Murrow News 8.